Hello everyone, this is Troy Kostasik for Explorminate playing Thea the Awakening just prior to its launch on Early Access. Uh, doing a few videos here just explaining how the game works and that sort of thing. This is our fourth episode. Um, what I'm about to do is I'm about to start a fight. And to do that, I'm going to move my expedition to that rat lair and it says you approach the beasts and you have time to decide your plan of action and I got two choices I can either start a fight or I can retreat and I'm gonna start a fight so there are ten rats here so I've bitten off way more than I can chew I really wish there was a button here to cancel that but oh well we're just gonna have to take our licks alright so this is combat I get to start, which is nice for once. Um, I generally play my strongest characters first because the card game is resolved left to right. So Slavomir goes first and then I pass the turn. Just above this little hourglass is a small icon with a zero in it. That's how many cards I can play this turn. Uh, it takes a while to learn how to do this. So now I end my turn and then my opponents can play I think up to two cards. Alright. Now his second card uh, cost him an extra action and because of that his rat is confused. It won't get to act next turn. So that's great for me. Um, I'm going to put my next strongest character on the board, Matei there, and uh, again, I can only play one card that turn, so I end the turn. And then it plays two more rats, second one is confused, and I play... Uh, Adalia, who's a weaker character. And I pass the turn. And then it plays two rats. Nope, just one. Alright, now I have to choose what to do next. Personally, I really don't want to choose anything. Um, I can choose Confuse which will stop that rat from taking any actions but I don't really want to do that because it's gonna die anyway I can choose get closer which moves this character onto the battlefield or I can choose like protect an ally which adds a defensive bonus to a character already on the battlefield first action is a great uh, choice if it works but it's not highlighting any of these other characters up here right now what first action does is it moves your character to the front of the line. That's super powerful. Unfortunately, I can't choose it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this character get closer, join the battlefield, but she's going to be confused because that took extra effort on her part. Then I pass the turn. Then it plays a rat. My turn. I'm going to... Uh, Confuse that rat. I think that'll be my best play because I want to try to protect this character. I don't know if it'll work or not. And then I end the turn, the computer is going to get to play the rest of its cards, which is an insane number of rats. So I may lose a, a character or two here. We'll see what happens. Then after that, it proceeds to combat. He gets to go first. He kills a rat. He goes kills a rat. Then the rat goes and hurts my character. Then she goes and kills the rat. Now I can't tell you exactly how all this is decided because it doesn't follow the kind of order I would want to follow but I suppose that's what makes it challenging. So she might die right here. Yep. Okay. Well, alright, so 
after the first round, first two rounds of placing, and then the two rounds of combat, if the combat is not resolved, you try again. And now I've got different characters that get to go first. So I play Adelia, and then I pass the turn. Then it plays a rat. And then it's my turn again. So I'm going to play Luba. And then it's going to play a rat. No, wait. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I got it in the turn. And then it's going to have one turn to do something. And it's monster is confused. I'm going to pass the turn and let it play its last card. And then I'm going to use my character here to confuse that rat so it can't attack. And then I'm going to tell this guy to get closer. And then hopefully I won't take any more damage for the rest of the combat. Let's see if this works. So she attacks, kills that rat, kills that rat, and then there we go. All the rats are dead. And I did lose a character, which is very bad. She's not technically dead yet, she's just very wounded. And I think if I make a camp and I can get some wood, I might be able to save her or might not. But I gained some meat, I gained some le or leather, I gained some experience points in research. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my characters camp. Alright, straw can be used as fuel. So I'm going to gather up some straw. Um, I probably have two characters do that because straw is very important. Uh, then take an opportunity to get some string and then some more straw and some more string. Alright, now move these characters up to eight turns, however long that takes. Oops. Alright. And let's see if that character dies. Oh, I did create a shirt, so let's assign that. And we'll just put it on Boleslav. And let's check my inventory. How much string have I got? 15. Alright, I should be making enough string now where I can just infinitely craft shirts. Alright. Let's see what happens. I'm getting attacked again. This game can be brutal. Just brutal. Alright, it gets to go first this time because it's on the offense. We'll put Slavomir here. Pass turn. And then Adelia. Pass the turn. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my ability to confuse these guys. And then hopefully my characters will survive. It's not going to be good. This is going to be very difficult for me to win. Especially since he didn't go after the first rat. I don't know. I don't know how all this works exactly. It, it can be very frustrating at times because I don't understand all the card interactions and how they get chosen to do what they do. But you know, that's just part of learning a new game.
All right. A lot of these abilities um, I just can't use right now. So we're just going to make sure that that rat dies. All right. I won. Slavomir got hurt. Okay. So down here in the lower left, I have no fuel. I've got things that are too heavy. And I got people that are hurt. This is what a roguelike is like. That's okay. Hopefully I don't get attacked anymore. Okay. Um, yeah. Got another shirt. Let's equip up my characters here. Oh, I've got two shirts now. Put one there and one there. Excellent. All right. Uh, uh, an unusually big and strange looking black rooster was seen perusing your village barn. You suspect it may be a Cropsy, a domesticated field demon who can bring great fortune to its host, but beware. If it deems you to be a bad farmer, it may instead damage your crops and play nasty tricks. Oh, let's take a risk and leave it opening in our barn wall for this cropsy. Yay! I got some stuff. That's excellent. Alright, and two XP. That's good. It's nice to get some XP. Alright, a ghost of a hanged man is seen in your village, haunting your people's dreams. He is coming always for the same direction and returning there after several hours of haunting. Your people wake uneasy every night and some become cursed your scouts soon mark a possible location of the ghost's home okay so I've got two characters that are now cursed and so to lift that curse I gotta go inspect this hanged man's haunted mansion which I really can't do right now because I've got one of my main characters hurt and they're on an expedition so we gotta be judicious about how we use our characters. Alright. Probably got almost everybody here a shirt. Okay, everybody's there, got a shirt. I've got three shirts in the bank here. So I'm gonna stop making shirts for a little bit. And I'm gonna start making some crafting tools instead. Clicked on the wrong thing. So He's going to be done with shirts. Thank you. Let's make some gathering tools. All right. And we'll put Yanko on that. And we'll get everybody some gathering tools and we'll just accumulate resources even faster. All right. Hopefully my expedition finishes gathering things soon. All right, gathering tools are finished. So let's just start equipping people with them. Man, it's gotta be getting close to Okay, uh, the little friendly imp shows up again and um, it's like a trickster demon. I don't want to fight right now. Let's just throw it out see what happens. We chase it off and I get an XP point. Good. And let's see. Okay. They're done. Let's break camp and get back to town. I'm going to have them go this way so that way I avoid those big nasty rats. And there, integrated back into the city. Yay, nobody died. And I got back with all kinds of resources. And man, things are good. Things are real good. 
I made a gathering basket here. So let's put that on one of these people that's out in the expedition. Uh, let's see. We'll give Matei one. And we'll give... Let's see. Who else has pretty decent gathering skills? Uh, Adelia. Oh, she's got five. That would make her have seven. Fantastic. There we go. All right. I think that's where I'll stop this video. You kind of get the idea now of at least how combat works for me. I'm not sure that was the best example in the world, but... Those are the basics of Thea the Awakening. It's a very difficult game, but a very rewarding game. It's very fun to play. It's nice and challenging. If you're ready to uh, step up to the plate in a good hard uh, 4X style game uh, with some roguelike el elements, I, I really think you'd enjoy Thea. I know I am. So anyway, this has been Troy Kostasik for Explorminate. Thank you very much for joining me. I uh, hope to see you around. Take care.